Hi, and welcome to what's new in Alfresco 1 version 4.2. I'm Gary Cox, and I'm a senior technical consultant at Bluefish Development Group. This video series is going to focus on the new features in Alfresco 1 version 4.2. Alfresco 1 was released late in 2013, and we're going to walk through in a series of videos what's, what's new in the product. In this first video, we're going to highlight some of the new features and then show qu a quick demonstration of Alfresco Share. And then we're going to provide a roadmap for the rest of the video series. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Now we're going to just go th quickly through a uh, highlighted list of new features in 4.2. We'll focus more in detail on these as we go through the video series. First of all, there's a, a new and updated interface for Alfresco Share. There's a completely new administration page in Alfresco Share that makes it easier to see the status of subsystems and things like clustering. Also, Alfresco Share now provides folder templates to make content creation easier and quicker. Two new views have been added, Gallery and Filmstrip, to make working with images and vi video much easier. There's actually a whole new records management release, and we're going to focus on that all by itself in its own video. Workflow now supports hybrid workflow, which allows you to launch a workflow on-premise and continue it in the cloud. Clustering now utilizes Hazelcast instead of JGroups. Also, support has now been added for some queries, such as through CMIS, to go directly against the database and not utilize Solar. In some cases, this can be useful, such as when individual consistency would cause issues. And as always with the new release, there are platform updates, and we'll discuss those. So part one of this series, this first video, is just an introduction. with we'll talk about the new features, and then we'll do a, have a brief look at uh, Alfresco Share. In the second video, we'll do a, a more detailed tour of the Share UI and, and review some of the changes. We'll also go through the new administration interface. Part three will be a deeper dive into Share features and do things like hybrid workflows. Part four will be dedicated to records management, and we'll focus exclusively on the new features of that product. And lastly, part five will be a technical deep dive to talk about some of the, some of the features behind the scenes that have been added. And now we're going to have a, a brief tour of Alfresco Share and compare that 4.2 version to 4.1. So let's take our look at Alfresco Share version 4.2. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick tour of Alfresco Share in 4.2. And... Um, this is a pretty generic environment, but it kind of demonstrates the, the new look and feel of Alfresco Share. Um, so here I'm on the dashboard for administrator. Um, you can see some of my sites and some documents I've uploaded. You can see the header has been um, sort of compressed a little bit, and the, the overall sort of the theme is sort of cleaner looking. Um, we can go back to 4.1.x here. And this is another site where we've uh, got 4.1.6 running. And um, you see it's kind of a um, much lighter weight looking theme. And although we're going to go into a deeper dive of this in um, the uh, next video, just kind of a quick preview of um, some of the views that are available. So if I go into the document library, um, you can see this is the gallery view, and I've got a bunch of. Uh, Images here that are easy to view here, you can actually zoom in, zoom out, uh, makes it easy. Um, this is the gallery view, there's also a film strip view. Uh, if I had a bunch of images here, that'd be really useful to have. Um, so these are pretty neat. Um, there's also a table view. And for audio files, an audio view. So this is all new to 4.2, and um, it's a pretty nice feature to have. It makes it really quick to look through a series of images. I only have seven here, but imagine if I had a bunch more, um, you could look through there. And you can still, in 4.16, you 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 know you can check the version, clicking the upper left corner. You still have that ability in, in uh, Alfresco 1, 4.2. You just click down here, and it brings it up. Um, it's nice to have, and it's not animated, so it goes, goes away really quick. Um, another change, um, and you can see here the My Files, and we'll dig into this deeper in the next video, but there's a link directly to the user home through My Files. Uh, also, Tasks 
is a first, like a top level um, drop down. And you can see the drop downs have been restyled. Um, the other thing I wanted to demonstrate briefly here is the administration page. And we'll go, to, go into way more detail on this on the next video. But this is just a quick preview. Um, the system summary lets you basically to keep an eye on the subsystems. If this was clustered, um, clustering has been enabled here, but my other cluster members are removed, so I have only one, um, one node in the cluster. Um, but you can see lots of good information at a, at a glance, basically. Um, so this is greatly expanded in 4.2. And so we'll, we'll dig into some of these features in the next video. But I wanted to provide a quick highlight. Let's go into a site real quick. And you can see um, uh, by default, only the document library is enabled. But again, you can customize your site to, uh, to add other features as needed. Um, so there's a m much more streamlined looking in 4.2. And this is just the preview of the GUI itself. Um, when we get a chance, we'll dig into some of the new features. And uh, those, the next two videos will basically focus on the Share UI and features in Share. So thanks for joining today. Uh, we will look for the next video where we'll dig more into the Share UI. This is just a quick preview today. And thanks for watching.